Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and yes, right here I do have a tablet. It is a Dell Streak 7. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how to root this device just from start to finish. It's not too hard to do, however, I looked online and I couldn't really find, to be honest, any good uh, video tutorials specifically covering this. So I'm going to be showing you all how to do this. You don't need to use Super One Click or anything. In fact, Super One Click really didn't work for me when using this. And uh, there are great instructions on the XDA developers forms. However, if you are a complete noob to this, um, I don't mean that in an offensive way or anything, but if you are a complete noob to rooting, uh, they are somewhat hard to follow so I'm going to break it down really easily so first off you need to have the tablet itself now this tablet right here is on honeycomb which is the latest update for this one specifically the latest official one from Dell um, there's ice cream sandwich and jelly bean now available in CM9 and CM10 however um, just well, I think I was trying a ice cream sandwich that one just it's kind of buggy on here it's incomplete and uh, I think uh, Jelly Bean, that was it. Jelly Bean is still in an alpha stage. So I, this is actually not for me. This is for my dad. But I am going to just keep this on Honeycomb, but I'll be showing you all how to root this. And if you would like to install a custom ROM, I will show you how to do that. So first off, what you need to do is you are going to need to download the update for your device specifically. This is a Wi-Fi US tablet. Now there are 4G, 3G, and Wi-Fi tablets, so you need to see which one you need. Uh, the links are down below for this, but go ahead and download it. And you will need, right here, a SD card. So you'll need an SD card, and what you need to do is you need to download the update file, uh, just the latest one, and if you even if you don't have it, uh, well, even if you have the latest update, just go ahead, download it, and flash it just so you follow this. But you want to put it in the root of your flash drive and then rename it to update. Um, but what you want to do right here is you want to go into recovery mode. You can go into recovery mode by holding the volume up button and holding the power buttons at the same time while this is off. And also, I'll show you all right here. As you can see, I'm not really going to go into the details or anything, but I mean this is on Honeycomb. So what we're going to do is we're just going to reflash it. So just shut it off. Now once it shuts off, what you need to do is you need to go into recovery mode, like so. And there you go. Now uh, there's one thing you all need to know. If you are trying to get into recovery mode and it doesn't do this, it just has a black screen and then your red light starts blinking, that means you need to charge your battery. So go charge your battery and then come back to this. However, what you want to do is when you have that update.pkg file on your SD card, you want to select number two and hit the power option right there. Wait a few seconds. And now right here, as you can see, this is uh, just on the stock recovery mode, so I don't have a custom recovery on here or anything. Uh, but what you need to do, as you can see, it will say all data is erased, and uh, you can press the volume up button if you don't want to uh, run this recovery. But if you want to do this, just go, go ahead press the power button, which is what we want to do. But again, take heed to this warning that all your data is going to be erased. So make sure you have your data backed up. There's nothing important on here specifically for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and flash it. We're just going to go ahead and let it do its magic. All right, now as you can see right here, uh, we just finished completely uh, flashing our tablet. And you're going to notice when it gets to the Dell logo, it will take about a minute or two. It's going to take a lot longer to boot up than usual. Don't worry, your device is not bricked. Unless it takes more than five or six minutes, then you might want to run Recovery Flasher again uh, just by hard resetting it. However, if it's just like this for about a minute or two, don't worry. What it's doing is it's just rebuilding your Dalvik cache and your regular cache and everything uh, just to make sure your tablet is good to go. Now, once we're done with this screen, we're going to get booted right back to the Honeycomb Splash screen, and I'll just pick up then. 
Alright, now as you can see, once this is done, uh, you just want to go ahead, unlock your tablet, and let's go ahead and start everything. So I'll just show you all right here. Just go ahead hit start. I can just skip that for now. I'm not even going to enter the settings. Unless... It want me to? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Just skip all that. Time zone. I want to at least get the right time on there just because I have OCD. Not really, but I just say I do. Okay, there we go. We're back on the honeycomb splash screen. As you all can see, uh, just regular everything on here, nothing special, and it is Android 3.2. So now what we're going to do is we are going to do the actual rooting process. The first thing of which we need to do is flash a custom recovery mode. So let's go ahead and go to our computer. So grab your tablet, your USB cable, and get to a computer. Alright, so now that you're at your computer, what you need to do is you need to make sure you download all the files that I have linked down in the description. This is going to just be, um, was it the link to whatever file you had, uh, your PKG file, you should already have that if you want to flash it. Uh, you're going to need a regular recovery image just in case. A custom recovery, uh, you can use either TeamWin or Clockwork Mod. I prefer TeamWin just because I like the touch screen on there and I think it looks cool. And uh, you also need this super user zip. Now what you need to do is you need to put the super user zip on your SD card. And as for the rest of the stuff, uh, the PKG file should already be on your SD card. Uh, you can delete that now, you really don't need it. Although it would be good to have, but it really doesn't matter to be honest. But what you're going to need is this fast boot folder and you're just going to need to extract it. Make sure you have everything. And you're need going to need to make sure that you have all the drivers for this installed on your computer. So what you need to do now is boot into Fastboot. Now I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's go ahead, turn off our device. If I can from here. Yes, I can. Okay. We just want to go ahead, power it down. And let's see if I can get down that way. There we go. Now once it completely powers down after a few seconds, you want to just go ahead, plug in your USB cable right here. And there we go and you want to boot into fast boot. The way you boot into fast boot mode is you do the same thing with recovery mode except instead of the volume up button you hold down the volume down button and you hold down the power button and you need to have your USB cable plugged in. You can plug it in later but you're going to need it anyways so just go ahead do this just hold down both those buttons at the same time and as you can see it should come up with some red and white looking text right here so what you're going to need to do is you will need Fastboot, and this is where you need to make sure uh, it works on all operating systems, actually Linux, OS X, and Win32. However, we're going to be doing this on Windows. So what you need is you need some basic command prompt knowledge. Now I will show you this. Uh, whenever I type CD, that means change directory. So what you need is you are going to need whatever recovery image you want you will need to put that into the same folder as your fastboot.exe folder I'll show you right here in Win32 right here fastboot.exe is there I have my regular recovery image my team win recovery image and my clockwork mod recovery image um, now you can't just double click the exe file I will show you what to do so what you need to do is you need to open up command prompt. You just need to go to your start menu and either look up command prompt or CMD and just run that. And this is on my F drive, so I'm just going to change over to F. And then from there, you just want to do CD del streak 7, CD fast boot plus ADB, CD win 32. And from here, you want to type in fast boot, one word to make sure it works and it should bring up all this stuff. If you have this stuff, that means you are in the right directory running the right exe file. So what you need to do is you just need to type in fastboot. Let me just clear this out first so you all can see. There we go. Uh, we need to type in fastboot flash recovery and now you need to put in the file name of what recovery image you want to flash over. So I'm going to flash over TeamWin. So that would be for me twrp.img. Enter that. And as you can see, it's written the recovery file in less than two seconds and it shows it on here. Now what you need to do is you need to type in fastboot 
reboot. And when it does this, uh, while it's rebooting, we are going to put it into recovery mode. So let's go ahead and do that. Just press enter. As you can see, my device is now rebooting. And just hold it down to go into recovery mode. And now here's the weird thing with this, okay? It shows the regular recovery menu, but you need to go down. Sorry if I'm covering the screen. Down to number two, and then press OK, which would be the power button. And by now, we can just unplug the USB cable. And as you can see, it loads up TeamWin. Unless you flash Clockwork mod, then uh, it would load up Clockwork. But what you need to do here is you just need to go over to Install. I'm going to go to the external SD. And I have these two other packages right here. That was just when I was messing around with the ice cream sandwich. But what you want to do is you want to go over to Super User. And you just want to swipe to confirm Flash. Flash is over Super User. And there you go. Your device is now rooted. Now what you want to do is you want to wipe your cache and Dalvik cache. So just go ahead and swipe. Hit back and hit reboot system. Now it's going to reboot again and it's going to be on the Dell splash screen for about two seconds or so. Well not two seconds, two minutes I meant. But uh, it's going to be there for a bit so just let it stay there. Alright now as you can see we are now back at our splash screen so let's just go ahead and unlock it. And the one way to see that it is successfully rooted is you go over to your apps and if you come over here you see super user right there. If you have super user, congratulations, you're now successfully rooted on just a regular stock uh, honeycomb ROM. Now, the reason why I'm sticking to a stock ROM is because everything works on here. Uh, it's pretty stable, and specifically also the camera works too. It kind of bugged me that Ice Cream Sandwich did not have a working camera, but that's just some development issues with this. However, if you would like to flash a custom ROM, I will show you how to do that real quick. What we're going to do is we're just going to power off our device. And again, you need to make sure you have the custom ROM image on your SD card. But you just want to boot into recovery mode when it's off. Now, once it boots into recovery mode, you go to number two. Hit OK on that. It should load up your custom recovery image. Now what you want to do right here, you just want to hit install, and you pick whichever one you have on your SD card. Now I do have CM9 on here, which is an ice cream sandwich build, and if you ever want to do that, you just do the same thing. You just hit the zip, swipe to confirm flash, and that is it. It should be pretty easy to do. Now if you decide to do that, also install GAPS, which if you don't know what that is, it's Google Apps. Um, all the files are going to be in the link for XDA to do all that. Thank you to everyone who has written all these guides, who made these programs, all that. There's just way too many names to name off. But anyways, that is it. However, in my opinion, if you want to have the best experience with the most stable ROM on this device, you should just update to the latest 3.2 Honeycomb ROM and then root that using Super User. If you want to, you can use a program, um, just any external type of program, to get rid of all that bloatware. But if you want this thing to work 100%, I do recommend sticking on Honeycomb, however, you can install a buggy build, I mean it's a good build, but it's a buggy build that doesn't work completely, of CM9, which is Ice Cream Sandwich, or you can go on to CM10, which is in a complete alpha stage, and the reason why I, I'm just not recommending that is because CM10, which is Jelly Bean, the sound isn't even working on it right now, which it's in alpha 1.0, so that's why I don't recommend that. Anyways, we're just going to go ahead and reboot our system. But that is it. Within a few minutes, you've successfully flashed your Dell Streak 7, and you have rooted it. So have fun with everything. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thanks for watching.